Hi, it's Imrel. Welcome to my channel. So I'm actually starting a series. It's a three part series on how to live thrifty, but also live oh so good. So my series is going to be comprised of a home edition, a influencer edition, and also a beauty edition. In this series, we're going to touch on everything from how to save money to how not to spend it at all. So follow me on these three part series to see how I live good, but I live oh so cheap. So this is part one of our three part series. This is going to be the beauty edition. So to kind of start off with the beauty, I want to start somewhere small. What I do to save money is I don't get my nails done at all. What I actually do is I do my own nails. So in order for me to do my own nails, I actually have a whole box of supplies that I use and I keep it in this little box. And this has everything from nail polish to press on nails to nail glue. And you think if you're spending all this money on nail products, you might as well get your nails done. Negative because I buy a lot of these nail polishes from TJ Maxx, so they could be, they're Essie, but they're anywhere from $1.99 to $2. When you're going to get your nails done, and just a regular mani-pedi could cost you 50 bucks. I bought these press-ons from Marshalls for $5.99. So that's a really big way to save money, because you think about it, your nails are just gonna chip. Your nails are only gonna last you maybe a week, two weeks. If you keep that up, do how many weeks are in a month, how many weeks in a year, you're spending a lot of money. So stop getting your nails done, get yourself a little box, and just do them yourself. Another thing that I do to save money is, I do my own makeup, but I use cheap products, and I don't use a lot of products. One of the big products that I use that I save money on is lashes. I use 199 lashes. It looked just like mink lashes. I believe they are some type of mink lash, but instead of spending 30 bucks on them, I paid 199. And also, I use this is one of my favorite beauty tools, and everybody knows about this, but instead of using the $20 uh, super blender or whatever the sponge is called, I just buy these from Walmart or I get someone to get them for me as a gift. Saves money. And when it comes to makeup, I don't use a lot of products. This is literally all I use on my face every time I do my makeup. So when you're using less products, you're wasting less money. And then also, your makeup's going to be much quicker. So this way you can get to work faster. You can get to those stores faster to get those deals. You're saving money by having less products and also not having any big name brands. Like, the most expensive product I have in here is a three-part kit for Black Radiance. So this is $11. So, come on now. Vaseline, 99 cents. So don't use all those expensive products. Because you got to think, most people that are selling you those products online, they're getting them for free. So why won't you save a little bit of money and just buy a drugstore? And also, you can always do your own hair. Doing your hair saves a bunch of money. I always recommend if you have some basic things at your house, like gel, brushes, of course, and why not a cheap wig? This is one of my favorite cheap wigs. It's synthetic, and it cost me $15. And people think, oh, I don't want to wear a cheap wig because it's going to look cheap. That's not true at all. Look at this wig, look at this parting. It's super natural. I'd actually put it on right now, but I'm already wearing a pony. But I think synthetic wings are perfect. So this way, if you don't wanna do your hair one day or you just don't have time for it, throw on yourself a little $15 wig and look glamorous, but then also you're saving money. Remember, thrifty, but oh so good. Gotta remember that. razors every woman spends a lot of money on razors 
if you're buying those Venus razors, it's like one razor could cost you anywhere from five to seven bucks. Dollar Tree, you can buy a pack of five. So these are just, that's just a few things that I buy and that I use that are cheap, but I also am able to be fabulous. I'm able to look great. My nails are always done. My hair always looks great. I always look amazing. It's just about being thrifty, but also living good. You don't want to be thrifty and looking thrifty. That's not, that's not the deal. The deal is to be thrifty, but live oh so good. So that's our part one of a three part series. And I hope you enjoy it. Like, comment, subscribe.